Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to a European morning update. And um, oh, just on the VIX here. Um, that was my drawing that I did. It was here when it happened and it just popped up. It's now coming back down. I'd be surprised if you don't see um, this sort of pattern here or maybe this one here again. So it's just maybe um, bottom uh, around this region and then pop on, but then fail to recover this um, level again. So you you're on now another downward stretch you see this trend just keeps dropping until you get the big the big drop that is and on that idea of the big drop um we keep hitting i'm using the cash market here because that's what the drawings on um same for the futures wherever you're trading um you keep knocking around this 50 day moving average as you see on e-minis uh e-minis here we are Again, you just keep knocking out this 50 day and then bouncing. It just keeps holding that trend. Um, but you can see the um, divergence on the MACD, important. Also, bear in mind this uh, level here, 200 day moving average. We're now some 10, 11% um, above that level. Um, likewise, on the NASDAQ, um, you've got this. Uh, divergence here on the MACD. Well, they have just had a positive crossover there. Um, there is divergence still in play. Um, and then on the, again, we measure it over 11%, nearly 12% above its 200 day moving average. That's where it starts to get a bit squeaky bum time. Um, if it's only 15% above, is uh, where things start to uh, often rotate back. Um, You'd be looking also at this uh, 4,500 level as a psychological level, um, offering near-term resistance, and you could see a retest of the 50-day, but it's all uh, about Jackson Hole, remember, so that's taking place on, uh, starts tomorrow. Um, j Powell due to speak on Friday. European markets are flat this morning. Fitz is just holding this, uh, uh, uh 50 day line here around around this kind of level here um just knocking around the range really we've been stuck in a range um but we can draw the top around 7200 uh we can just draw it there and then we can draw um uh, this one about about this sort of level here just sort of coinciding that top um and we've just been knocking around this range aside from that little blip in July. We've been knocking about this range for uh, since April, since the middle of April. Um, and if you and that's a what's a range are we talking there? Uh, we're talking a little more than a 250 point range uh, for the FTSE. And then if you want to go really wide all the way back to the start of April, including that one, then it's um, about 400 point range. It's not very, uh, not much uh, movement there in the FTSE. We've obviously continued to see the momentum is is to the upside still, um, but you are just looking at this uh, fading in the in the um, moving averages there. You had this bearish uh, crossover. We've got the divergence here still. We, we had warned about that. Um, that's why that line was there. Um, just running into this high here, you had a bit of divergence, but and you've now got the, the, the bearish crossover. You had that positive crossover here, which is called the rally from here, and you've had a negative one here. So it's momentum's just not great there. Um, oil's just off a bit this morning, uh, spot crude. Just looking though for a potential bullish crossover on that MACD uh, and recapturing the trend line here. We just come off the 100 day line here. Uh, that's 100 day moving average on the spot spot continuous so oil. That's the one with no expiry, no rollover. Um, it's a sort of blur uh, weighted um, average of the front two contracts. Um, gold also just a tad softer this morning, just running into uh, resistance uh, here at that uh, 100 day line as well. Um, but you do have the bullish crossover in the MACD in play, and yes, that's 100 day cross above the 200 day. So, um, lots going on out there. Um, we don't have a huge uh, run of data today. Core durable goods orders in the US, crude oil inventory is expected to show a draw of 1.9 million barrels today, uh, but we'll see what happens. That's it for me for now. Thanks very much.